Howdy, music fans. Thanks for joining me today. I'm jumping on Aaron uh, Mutha Alomar's thread or contest about uh, show us VLC tea you've received. And I can't do that, but he also said if you can't do that, you can do recent finds. So I'm going to do recent finds. Um, if you saw my Johnny Cash box set video um, from Saturday, maybe, is when I got it. I mentioned that this person, somebody dropped off a ton of old country there at that's at that store they sold it or traded it in or whatever and so i bought a few other things that day i bought three things that day but then i went back the next day <laughs> i bought a few more things so i'm going to show what i got it's all old country um i do want to do a video soon about a new genre i'm getting into which is the complete kind of opposite of old country is that some folks might like but i'm waiting till i get all the cds that i've ordered that come and unfortunately this is stuff you can't really find in the store so i've gotten it all online anyway let's get going Johnny Paycheck on his way, the little some of the little darling years. This is his greatest stuff, in my opinion. I love his little darling recordings. They're just really good honky tonk country, great sound to them, and um, great songs. He also has a Bear Family CD that I have. That's a, a single disc from even before this stuff. This stuff, I believe, is fifties. Um, anyway, great material, and this has fifteen or six, fifteen songs. And I think four or five of them I already have in my other little darlings, Johnny Paycheck CD. So a good 10 CDs on this, and it was pretty cheap. Um, I think it's more expensive online. Um, next, I got a Merle Haggard uh, two for one, two, 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 two albums on one CD, My Love Affair with Trains and The Roots of My Raisin. Um, this, uh, this looks like it's probably an early 70s disc of his um, albums. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to get into that right now i'm just showing what i found so anyway always excited when i can get some merle haggard that i don't know and um will most likely like so my love affair with trains the roots of my raisin next uh this is a guy i'd never heard of but i saw him the day before on saturday and so uh, i went home and i kind of checked him out on youtube and other places uh and i liked him and so i picked this uh double disc up for 7.99 i think it was his name's red St steagle and this is a classic uh, uh, two discs, uh, 36 timeless songs, Western Swing and Honky Tonk. It's, it's definitely straight up barroom country and honky tonk. So I'm real excited about this. And it's 70s, uh, I'm pretty, it sounds like, maybe late 60s. Really good stuff. Um, certainly looks 70s. How many country singers are there named Red? All right. Um, but Buck Owens, Live in Scandinavia, uh, I have the uh, two, I think it's two Bear Family sets of, of the three of Buck Owens, but I've got a bunch of single discs, and most of them are live discs because they're not in there, so in the, in the Bear Family sets. So I picked this up. This was also pretty cheap. This is one of those classic albums from the 60s, Porter Wagner's The Rubber Room. It's pretty dark and... Uh, pretty uh, dark and disturbing, but I, I've heard it's really good. I think I used to have it or, I, or I've or i listened to it, but I thought, you know, I'm going to pick it up and keep it this time and really give it a good good, good uh, listen to. Jerry Reed, I've only got a collection. This is two of his albums on one CD, um, Hot and Mighty and Lord Mr. Ford, and he's known for doing the um, uh, Smoking the Bandit soundtrack songs, Eastbound and Down. He's known for um, doing Lord Mr. Ford. And then he's got a couple others that people know. The Claw is a big, big one. And then there's, like, um, he does one that Johnny Cash covered, I think, A Thing Called Love. Not the same one, the John Hyatt, Bonnie Ray one. Um, um, but he also, and he's written some of these, but there's some covers in here, like um, That Lucky Old Son, that kind of thing. Um, and there's Johnny B. Good as, as in a medley, and Good Night Irene is in here. Um 16 tons but he does definitely some of his own songs and um he's he was a phenomenal guitar player phenomenal guitar player and i like his stuff um now bluegrass charlie monroe the star day sessions 24 songs this was five bucks um he was bill monroe's brother and they were a band the monroe brothers before they split up and went their separate ways and charlie monroe uh, did his thing, and Bill Monroe did his thing, and went on with being credited for inventing bluegrass. And so I like Bill Monroe, but I also like Charlie Monroe. So now I actually have one CD of Charlie Monroe stuff, so that's really cool. Next, this is one of the main reasons I went back. I was going to get the five-CD box set, Bear Family box set they have of Charlie Walker. 
uh, picked me up on my way down. I went home Saturday and I listened to it on YouTube and I listened to song after song after song and I loved it. And I was going to go back down there and buy it. It was 76 bucks. It's used. Bear family set. And I thought, you know, I th I'm going to look and see if there's any single discs and just maybe I'll do that. And I found this. It's got 21 tracks. It was 10 bucks. And I, 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 was, I, I felt like I, was, I, re, I had some restraint, and I left that Bear Family set. I'm not saying that Bear Family set won't make its way into my apartment, but it's not here now, and it might never be. Who knows? All right, Stanley Brothers, Long Journey Home. Um, this is something that was meant only as a radio promo, so it wasn't, not many were issued, and it was issued as a record, not in a sleeve. I've just read this in the liner notes. I listened to it today. It's great. And... Um, so it's kind of sought after, and I looked it up on Amazon. It was thirty, you know, listed as thirty-four bucks, thirty-five bucks, and I got it for, I think, eight bucks or something. So, always thrilled when I can get some Stanley Brothers, and then Ralph Stanley, Great Mountain Time. I listened to this today, and it is badass, really great, and it's one of his later ones on Rebel, uh, and I, I think there's quite a few later ones of his I don't actually have, so I'm excited to listen uh, to have this. Like I say, I listened today; it was great. And then there was this three CD set of Ralph Stanley, his complete King and Gusto recordings. It's funny, it says his complete King and Gusto recordings, but there's not, not a whole lot on there, as you can see. It's three CDs. I do have a couple. Uh, I have a King CD and I think a Gusto with him and Jimmy Martin. But there is probably stuff on here that I don't have, and it was 11 bucks for a three CD set of Ralph Stanley. So I'm sure there's stuff on here I don't have, and I hope there's stuff on here I don't have. And then... This, I don't know if it, I think this was new, it was 16 bucks, and it was Tanya Tucker, I think you're supposed to say Tanya, um, four classic albums on two CDs, and I really am into her early stuff the most. I like that raw, rawer sound and production that she had. I love her voice, no matter what, but her, you know, bookending her career, those are the things I like, the last couple albums, and then this one. Uh, these albums I'm really excited to hear. Delta Dawn, What's Your Mama's Name, and those are great songs. Would You Lay With Me in a Field of Stone, that's one David Allen Coe does, might have written that, and then You Are So Beautiful. Um, so I'm excited to uh, to listen to these. These are, this is her older stuff, so great. Last one is a double, uh, or is a Rhino two CD anthology of Bob Wills and his Texas Playboy, it's a great Western swing master. Um, and it was 10 bucks, and I don't have a lot of Bob Wills. I've got one, uh, I've got his Last Sessions CD, which is really good, actually. Um, and I'm not a huge Bob Wills fan, but I thought for 10 bucks, a Rhino collection of his stuff in my collection, I will definitely listen to it and enjoy it, and I'm happy to have it. So, Bob Wills, there you go. That is it for um, my entry for uh, Aaron with Alamar and um, either VCLT that you've received or recent finds you've had. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Love to hear your thoughts on old country. And um, I'll be back next time I'm back. Thanks. Have a good day.